A 45 kilogram sign is attached by two strings uh, as shown in the diagram and we have to calculate the tension T1 and T2 uh, in the codes. So we are going to see the angles. You can see alternate interior angles 50 degrees and 35 degrees. Uh, so these are equal to each other. Now we are going to draw a free body diagram for the attachment point. The tension 2 is at an angle of 35 degrees up the positive x direction and tension 1 is at an angle of uh, 50 degrees up the negative x direction and the uh, third force is the weight of the sign. Uh, it's going directly downwards and we are going to complete the vector triangle for the tension 2 and tension 1. The x component of tension 2 is going right, y component is going up. Um, the angle uh, between the x component and the tension 2 is 35 degrees. Um, and we are going to do the same thing for tension 1. The x component is going left, the y component is going up. You should know this. Uh, from chapter 3 when you were doing 2D kinematics you resolve the initial velocity into x and y components by drawing the vector triangle so that's the same thing we are doing here now let's look at the knowns and unknowns uh, we uh, do uh, know the weight is equal to mg and the mass of this sign is 45 kilograms uh, so we have defined the coordinates uh, right as positive up as positive and we're trying to solve for tension 2 uh, tension is a force the unit is newtons and tension 1 again a force unit is newtons so the positive or negative sign is not a clear way to indicate the direction for the tension force uh, the direction is indicated in the diagram using angles. Now let's see the applicable concepts. This is um, section 4.5 in your textbook. Now we are going to plan a solution and we are going to start uh, by looking at each force. So tension 1 has x component and it's negative because it's going to the left. And the y component of tension 1 is going up, it's positive t1y. The uh, x component of t2 is going to the right, so it's positive 2, 2 x And the y component of t2y, uh, it's positive going up. The weight does not have any x component. The y component is negative because it's going directly downwards. And now we are going to use Newton's second law. Uh, and we're going to use the component form of the Newton second law. Uh, one equation for the uh, net force in x direction and another equation for the net force in y direction. Now I'm going to look at the net force in x direction. Um, An acceleration in x direction is zero because the system is stationary, it's not moving. And um, if you look at the chart, you can see uh, the x components, the negative t1x and positive t2x, uh, so that's equal to 0, t2x minus t1x is equal to 0, and I'm going to express t2x and t1x in terms of cosine of the angle, t2x is t2 cosine 35, t1x is t1 cosine 50. And uh, I use the knowledge on trigonometry to get an expression for T2x and T1x in terms of cosine. Because T1x and T2x are on the adjacent of the vector triangle. Uh, now let's uh, solve for T2 in terms of T1, T1 cosine 50. Uh, divided by cosine 35 is equal to T2. Now uh, I'm going to uh, use again the uh, Newton's second law, the uh, equation in y direction and net force in y direction is equal to mass times acceleration in y and acceleration in y direction is zero. Again for the same reason the system is stationary, it's not moving. And I'm going to look at the little chart now and uh, I have to consider 
uh, T1Y, T2Y and negative mg. So those are the components of uh, forces uh, in y direction. So if you add all those components, that's again equal to zero because acceleration is zero. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, express this T1Y and T2Y uh, in terms of the sign of the angle because T1Y and T2Y are the uh, opposite of the right triangle. So now I'm going to substitute for uh, T2 in terms of T1 and T1 sine 50 uh, plus T2 is T1 cosine 50 divided by cosine 35 uh, times sine 35. Do not forget sine 35 minus mg is equal to 0 and uh, that is T2. That's the substitution I did for T2 in terms of T1. Now I have just one equation and one unknown. The unknown is tension 1. I'm going to factor out tension 1 and it's common for both terms. Um, when I factor out a T1 and that's what I get, I'm going to uh, add mg to both sides of the equation. Now I have just mg on the right hand side. If I divide both sides of the equation uh, by this uh, expression, I get tension 1 is equal to mg divided by sine 50 plus cosine 50 divided by cosine 35 times sine 35. So now you have to uh, solve for tension 1. When you put this uh, sine 50, cosine 50 into your calculators, guys, please make sure that your angle is in degrees, not in radians. Please check that in your calculator settings. And uh, then, since I have uh, T1, I'm going to substitute for T1 in the equation for T2. That is just 365, 363 newtons. And I, when I do the substitution and after I uh, put these numbers into calculator, I got 285 newtons for T2. And for T1, I have 363 newtons. Now, is the solution complete? Yes. Is the sign of the answer correct? Yes. Correct units and then magnitude is reasonable. We started the question by drawing a free body diagram and then we completed the vector triangle and looked at the x and y components and we identified the unknowns and we completed this chart to identify the x and y components of each force and we used Newton's second law, the component form for the x direction and y direction. You can see initially there were four unknowns but then it reduced down to two um, so that's it.